So y'all been waiting for this. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, Betty. Who the fuck was that? Hey, Betty's. What is up? It is me, Joshi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Come here, let me let give me you a cute baby. And if you're a returning baddie, thank you so so much for the continuous support. I love you so much, baddie. Y'all the real shit. Y'all the bad. The baddest bad baddie. Bad Shout out to time energetic. But I don't fucking care because this is what you came for. My energy. The vibe. The vibe. The aura, the, aura, the, chakra. the chakra. I don't know what I mean. It's a big old. So, do you notice anything new? <laughs> Hulanyo, hulanyo. Like. Kasi. Hindi Okay, fine. Wag na akong pilitin. My God. So I got a new haircut. Finally, bitch. Finally, nag open na yung mga salons. Kasi it's been months. Finally, meron na tayong new haircut. And nakakaloka kasi ang tagal din nagsara ng mga salons. Which is fucking crazy. Kasi ang tagal na natin naka-lockdown. Because of our fucking government. Make sure to register to vote. Bitch, I think I extended it until September 30. So, bitch, fucking register. If you registered voter, ka, I'm gonna give you a fucking shout out. Oh my god, who the fuck do I think I am? Like, famous, yeah? Oh my god, so today's video is going to be very exciting because it's been a while since I did a fashion video. This fashion video natin is so exciting because it is one of your faves, which is with the. the What the fuck am I doing? That thrift flip, yes. Kundi nyo alam, guys. I've been, you know, using a sewing machine for like quite a while. I've been doing rework guy fits with Miss Sweetie. I fucking love that bitch. Me and that bitch are like tight. I was like, we're like close. So Sweetie here is like my main bitch. We've been doing a lot of projects lately. Before I show you guys all the thrift flip items, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, bitch, because subscribing is fucking free and it really helps me a lot. So make sure to subscribe, bitch, so you will be part of the one and only Bad Family. Do I need to repeat it? I've been doing a lot of thrift flips lately. Sobrang dami ko nagawa. Ewan ko, parang na-addict ako. Also, I find it very therapeutic pag nagtatahi talaga. Na-enjoy na. Mas na-challenge yung creativity ko. And, I mean, it's not really perfect. Pero still, nag-enjoy ako. Imbes na wala akong ginagawa, na-enjoy ko gawin to. Okay, so the first thrift flip that I did, this thrift flip made a little, you know, some views on TikTok. I mean, she trended a little. But yeah, so this is the first thing that I did. This is a one-piece bodysuit, I think. I'm not sure how do you call it. And this was originally a sweater, which is, the sweater was literally so boring. It was literally sobrang luwag sa katawan ko. It's not giving me the fantasy. So might as well turn it into this sexy ass bitch over here. Oh my god, sobrang sexy niya kasi. Mayroon siyang backless part. I think she's giving a little skin on the back. I don't know if you can see it, pero medyo mataas sa sa legs na part. A lot, like literally a lot of skin. I also kept the turtleneck part, kasi parang pino you know, parang may iba naman yung one piece suit. Sobrang struggle kung ginawa to, kasi I made a lot of adjustments. To be honest, parang inaibol ko lang tong one piece suit na to. So merong parts dito na halatang hindi perfect, pero I enjoyed doing this. And yung pinaka hard part was the crotch part. To be honest, this part, this bitch over here, and dami ko adjustments na ginawa kasi may times sa maluwag, may times na lumalabas yung you know, my balls, may times din na uh, yung mga na-exposed na ibang part na hindi dapat na exposed. Okay, so this next one is very cute. I enjoyed doing this so much. This is the my very Jacobus-esque top, bottom-up na 
crop top na mayroong kang pwedeng itali na ribbon around your waist which is super cute pag nakita nyo talaga siya and this was originally long sleeve na polo to be honest pang ano na corporate attire and hindi ko naman siya masyado na susot ginawa ko lang siyang less boring kasi she deserves it and so great pinaka mahirap na part na ginawa ko dito was I think altering yung waist kasi crop top siya diba so parang ang hirap tansyahin and yung ginawa ko dito sa ribbon is ginamit ko yung half fabric very editorial vibes, very high fashion vibes. I love it when I pair it with brown pants. You can pair it now with blue pants if you want some color. You can pair it with some blue pants or some red pants. I don't know. Super bagay siya sa lahat ng color ng pants. So, kasi white siya. Next one is touching a little to my, you know, very dark rebel vibes. So, this is the top. Okay, so this is what she looks like. I don't know how to describe it, pero mukha siyang renaissance. I don't know, pero it has a zipper at the back and lace. Then right now, I'm just checking how I will start executing, checking the seams, and how I will remove the half part of it. And then I started removing using this tool, but I gave up, so I started cutting it because I'm so impatient as fuck. Then after that, I'm having second thoughts because I am indecisive as fuck and I have anxiety, but... Yeah, right now I'm making some adjustments because I want to sew the lining and the lace together so it won't move when I started adding the boning. So now I'm just adding more pins to the top. Then after that, I sewed it together and I cut the excess fabric at the bottom part. Now I pinned and placed the ribbon where I will insert the boning. I also did the same thing by placing and sewing the ribbon on the bottom part of the top. To make it look clear. Ito siya. I kept the sleeves. Pero at the back part, kasi hindi ko na magagamit yung zipper. To be honest, hindi ko na magagamit yung zipper. So, I turned it into parang yung crisscross na pwede may tali something. I don't know how to pake explain that. Pero ginawa ko siyang ganyan. Yung parang crisscrossy part. And meron kang maliit na ribbon sa baba. Which is so cute. Like, you know, she's a little conservative in front. But when you turn around, ba bam Bitch, she's showing a little skin. She said, come here, daddy. Siguro the hardest part na ginawa ko dito sa top na to was like the corset part obviously kasi it was literally my first time doing a corset top and also yung back part mahirap siyang gawin oh, for me lang siguro ang hirap niyo gawin nakastress siya pero I enjoyed doing this so so much So second to the last actually hindi to thrifted ito yung top na to hindi to thrifted this was a PR like way way before kasi naman nakatambak lang siya dyan I thrift flip it bitch of course so I did this this was originally a t-shirt pero ginawa ko siyang crop na tank top now with the chains and oh my god sobrang extra nito I swear ang lakas maka early 2000s rebel girl vibes you know what I mean and it says calm your tits bitch like calm your tits Calm your tits! Calm your tits, bitch! Hold, hold up! I know! I know she looks cute! I know you're gagging, but calm your tits! <laughs> I also made a bottom pair for this. Oh my god! Yo, yo, so top lang yung gagawin ko! I also made some bottom ones, okay? Oh my god, oh my god. Y'all literally gonna gag once you see this. Oh my god, man! If you guys remember this from my previous um, thrift haul, this was just literally pants. Like boring red pants that are not even high waist. But bitch, look at this. You can literally see your skin here. Okay, so this is what she looks like right now, Betty. She's looking a little basic, like very boring. Uh, where's the flavor? And I'm just checking right now my waist or how. <laughs> <laughs> or how it's gonna look like when I started cutting it or I'm still checking my waist. Right now, I'm just adding the markings where I want to cut it. And when you cut it, make sure to cut it one inch away from the original mark. Now, I'm just starting to pin it and this is what she looks like right now. Then, after that, I started sewing it on my sewing machine. I just followed where I placed the pins so I don't have to like, get confused. You know what I mean? Then, I added the grommets. Very easy, you can find tutorials on YouTube on how to apply grommets. The pants, super basic lang. I just added slit, then fold, pin, and sew the slit parts. And yeah, that's basically it. I just added grommets as well, and added the chains to it. I added chains and grommets 
sa parts. Parang may just sing it na part. Pero, oh my god! Girl, look how obsessed. Very Y2K Christina Aguilera vibes. At yung maganda pa dito, you can replace the chains if you want gold or if you want silver. Nilagyan ko lang ng slit part. Oh, di ba? Like, para. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for so long kasi nakikita ko na sa TikTok siya sa Pinterest. And finally, I can do it. Ah! Ah! Are you not living? Say yes! Say yes! So y'all been waiting for this. I know y'all been waiting for this. She is literally the star of this motherfucking vlog. I swear. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen give, it, give up it up for the, for the high, high bitch, bitch herself. herself. Miss. Corseta Poncheta. So here is she. Ito na yung official. Official corset na ginawa ko ever. And I am so fucking proud of it. Ginawa ko to for three days. For three whole fucking days. Akala ko kaya ko ng one whole day pero hindi talaga. Nakakapagod siya. So this is what she looks like. Okay, so it was originally a button-down silky top. So I started creating my pattern, then I started separating the parts of the top. After that, I placed my pattern on top of my two fabrics and pinned it together. It should be looking like this. Then I cut it by just following the pattern with a half-inch allowance on each side. Then I just did the same thing for the back part of my corset. And after that, I just spin the sides of the front part and the back part of the corsets. Then I sewed the sides doing the same thing with the lining fabric. Then after that, I'm just pinning together the lining and the main fabric of the corset facing the wrong side of the corset. Then I just started sewing it all together. Then I just flipped it inside out and it should be looking like this. In order to make it flat, just sew the sides of the corset. It should somehow look like this. Then I started sewing the straps together. After that, I added the boning. In my experience, this is literally the hardest part of making this corset. I swear, I even checked myself if I was doing it right. And somehow, I managed to like do it. Decent job of it. Then I just started trimming the bonings. Then after that, I added the ribbon to seal the corset on the bottom part and added these grommets. I am gagging over this. I'm literally so happy for this. So this is what she looks like in front, and this is what she looks like at the back. Ah! Oh, you my grommets and my crisscross ribbon thingy, and I made this choker thingy. Should I'll do about to match this car? I just wanna. If you really want to do something, just do it. Literally, just do it. Because you won't know once you try it, talaga. Because in the end of the day, sarili mo lang din mo kung push sarili mo. Okay, ako rin magbi make the decision in the end of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this third clip video. I enjoyed filming it so 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 much. Let me know which one is your favorite. And before I end this video, Baddie of the Week goes to. Thank you, thank you, Batty, so, so, so much for always supporting, always commenting, always replying to my stories. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on my next one, okay? Bye, pieces, deuces, period!